While filming a PBS special Ocean Adventures program, Sharks at Risk, I experienced firsthand that sharks truly are one of the most misunderstood animals in the ocean. I was guided by former fisherman turned shark dive guide and conservationist André Hartmann, who gave me specific instructions and took me diving with great white sharks outside of a cage. He told me, if the water is clear and we don't attract them with blood, that the shark would be calm and we could safely swim with the shark. And he was right. The shark was relaxed, and it did not threaten us at all. That was something, huh? That was nice. <laughs> I did exactly what you told me, and, and that was just to get the tip of the dorsal fin, and you know, I just pinched it with two fingers. Yeah, yeah. And it was going slowly and didn't move at all when I did it. And I was taken on a ride, it was just absolutely awesome. Deliberately seeking out a great white shark on its own terms was an experience I will never forget and probably will never repeat. Yet being in the presence of this ancient master reminds me how human abuse of the sea is throwing the entire system out of balance. Sharks are at risk, but it comes back to us as well. For instance, shark fins inspected from Bangkok contain 42 times more mercury than is safe for human consumption. That means the greatest danger to people from sharks may not be in the water, but on the table. In the long run, my free dive with a great white shark was probably safer than eating shark fin soup. Yet, despite the health risk, the massacre of sharks for their fins continues. The same sharks that bring the tourists and protect the balance on the reef. Now, more than ever, the two myths that have skewed our beliefs about sharks must be laid to rest. Sharks are not mindless predators, nor sinister man-eaters. And two, the oceans are not full of sharks. It's already feared that the hammerhead and the great white have declined by more than 75% in the past 20 years. That means three out of four are gone. And for species that reproduce slowly, these losses may be unsurmountable unless we are willing to change. The future is in our hands, and our future depends on the ocean, on the continued balance between predator and prey, and on abundant populations of this evolutionary marvel, a magnificent and necessary force in the sea, the shark.